my name is Lars Arnold. I'm here in Kentucky, Louisville at the utility show. And behind me we have the EC230. It's the first commercially available OEM built electric 23 ton excavator. So it's a full electric machine. We will show you some of the major components we have on the machine. So in the smaller machines you don't have AC, but on the big machine you see here we have the compressor, we have the condenser, so in the cab we have heat and AC. Down here we have some electric heaters, that's to heat the cabin in the winter, but also the batteries have an active thermal management. So the batteries are either cooled or heated, depending on the need. Let's open another door. Here we have the heart of the machine, the batteries. So we have a stack of four batteries, one, two, three, four. Each has a capacity of 66 kilowatt hours, so we have a total capacity of 264 kilowatt hours. This is enough power to run a machine four hours on one charge. And uh, we commercialize the machine already in Europe. And how to run a machine in Europe is simply over lunchtime or when they have an opportunity to opportunity charging, charging the unit here with an easy fast charger. And it's a 150 kilowatt hour charger. So the machine is actually charged from zero to 80% within one hour. So run in the morning, charge it when you have an opportunity, run it the remainder of the day charge overnight and repeat the next day. And let's walk over to the other side. So we have a very big door here and we see the other side of the batteries. So in here we have the batteries and we see the coolant lines here. So the batteries are cooled or heated as needed. So in a cold climate, the batteries will be heated. And uh, during operation, charging, the batteries will be cooled. Up here we have the radiator, and you see the radiator is running. Because the benefit of the electric machine is you don't need to turn it off. Because when the machine is off, and the operator is not operating the machine, the electric motor is not running. The electric motor is also water cooled here. And it's the same electric motor as we have on our Mac trucks, Volvo trucks. And we have the same batteries or similar batteries as we have on our Volvo Mac trucks. Then here we have a gearbox and the hydraulic pump. And from the hydraulic pump forward, everything is the same as on the diesel machine. So if you were used to run an EC220 diesel machine, this is exactly the same machine. So the undercarriage, upper frame, boom arm, bucket, cabin, everything is the same as on our diesel machine. Door to open. So we have another cooling unit here, a radiator. That's a cooling unit for our electric motor. The interesting thing is we uh, demoed the machine, tested the machine in a recycling facility with a lot of paper, fiber dust, and it never clogged up the radiators. We simply learned that um, on a diesel machine, the fan is pulling so much air through it compared to our smaller machine, uh, smaller radiators here. So they have more problem. Um, it's more critical to keep the radiators clean on the diesel machine than on the electric machine here. And here you want to run, jump in and run the machine, Patrick? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right.